welcome again to this tutorial on Roll20 Basics. I'm Hunter Rich, and it occurred to me that I haven't actually introduced myself about why I'm doing this. So, um, I am a dungeon master. I've been DMing for about two years, possibly three years. And um, I became a dungeon master, like many people, out of necessity because our group didn't have one. The one that had been DM had to stop being DM. And we were playing on Roll20. So what I did is I, um, I I went onto Google and I did probably what you did to get to here. I googled tutorials and how, how to do stuff. And what I found was that there are some good ones out there. In particular, um, Talking20 does a really good um, a really good series on some stuff, though my methods, I hope, would build on, on his. And all in all, I think I think I'd use something like five or six um, different tutorials to learn just half of the stuff that I now know, and some of it I've sort of not developed but discovered myself. So, my hope is that I can create a more comprehensive um, Roll Twenty tutorial. And leading on from the last episode where we created our dwarf cleric Grum, we're now going to make a dungeon, and. In order to make a dungeon, we're going to need some images. We're going to need dungeon tiles. Now, dungeon tiles come in two basic formats. I would say the first is the dungeon map. And the dungeon map is a complete map that you simply import, and it's done, it's there, it's created. And that, that that's good, and you tend to get much better detail on those maps. Um, they look a lot more polished but they kind of restrict your creative juices because you can make them how you want them to be. You have to use the setup. Um, so for that reason, I prefer dungeon tiles. Dungeon tiles are individual images that you combine to make a larger image, i.e. your dungeon map, for free. And that's a key point because Roll20 has a marketplace. You can go onto there. One of my particular favorites is Gabrielle Picard, who does fantastic um, dungeon maps, she does good tokens, she does really, really good dungeon tiles. I say she, could be, could not be a she, I don't know. Um, yeah, really, really good. Those packs tend to be about five dollars each, three quid, it's cheap. Um, but because we all tend to start small, let's do this for free. So, what I did back in the day, figuring this out a few years ago, was I used maps. Um, if you go onto Google Images, type in, I want to use a dungeon here. Um, I want to use a really simple goblinoid dungeon. Anyone who has seen Matt Coville's videos, which I you know, used a lot of his tips and advice, um, they'll know what I'm getting at. A really simple first level um, dungeon. I want to make one of those. So Google free dungeon tiles free digital dungeon tiles to be exact, and you will find what you want. I did that in the first edit of this video, and it was quite lengthy, and also I ran into an unexpected problem with WinZip, but never mind. Um, I'm going to use ones that I have used. Now, I'm just going to jump straight to this. So if you put in Forgotten Adventurers, Adventurers, not Adventurers, you will come to this guy's Patreon. Now, I'm a patron, so I've logged out so that you can see these are, in fact, free. Um, and look for these ones, the modular dungeon tile. So these are completely free. Um, you'll come down to the page. You can I haven't clicked the reading or anything. Just click here, modular dungeon tiles, and what you'll get is this. So I'm just going to leave this on screen for a second so you can see once again. Um, make your own dungeon tiles, over 100 tiles. They are really, really good. I really like them. Um, and these are by Forgotten Adventurers on Patreon. I genuinely recommend that you join his Patreon. I'm a free dollar subscriber, um, a free dollar patron, and um, I use this stuff quite a bit. It, it's really quite good stuff. So I've downloaded the file, um, I've unzipped it, and this is what I've got. So you'll notice that each one has a size on it, a three by three. This is a four by four. Pay attention to that. You're going to need that. So let's um, close that down and jump back to roll 20. So we're going to go back into, um, this time we're going to go into our art library. We're going to go into my library. Now I've got a lot of stuff 
in here a lot because I have done a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you how to um, upload these, although I believe I have already done that. Like I said, I'm, I'm a, a subscriber of his now, so I've got a lot of his stuff, but his basic dungeon tiles right here. Here they are. I'm going to show you how to upload these anyway so that you know what you're doing. So really simple. Click Upload. The quickest way to do it is to select all of these. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to take the um, just this one, drag it across. I'm going to use um, Alt and Tab to go back to row 20 and just drop it in there. That's it. That's it. So all you got to do, give that a second to upload. It tends to take longer to tell you that it's uploaded than it actually takes to upload. They've got a pretty good server. So once that's done, you'll scroll down to the bottom. Yours hopefully won't be as cluttered as mine, but you'll scroll all the way down and then you'll get to the section where you've recently added things. And there it is. There is the banner that we've just got. So now we're going to make um, a dungeon. This isn't going to be a big dungeon, so I'm not going to need a lot of space. I'm going to click the blue tab here and I'm going to click in the start and I'm going to call this Goblin Dungeon. Okay. Uh, 25 by 25. That's fine. It doesn't need to be bigger than that. And at this stage, that's it. So close that back down. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see a little better. Now I'm going to click on this one. This is the layers. Hover above it and you'll see the various layers. Dynamic lighting is not included in the free um, the, the free account with Roll20. You get that from the first tier of paid subscriptions, which I think is like $3 a month. Um, though, check that yourself. I'm going to click on Map and Background. Okay, right. I want to make a really, really simple dungeon. So the first thing I'm going to do is find my dungeon tiles. I want a two by two area. In fact, I'm going to go by three by three area. Drag this along. Drop it down. And as you can see, it is already three by three. Click on the advanced set dimensions and units. If it's not three by three, change it to three by three there. Okay, I'm going to have that one in there. And then I'm going to have that open up into a, a large room. Um, so I'm going to put that into the eight by eight room. So it's, yeah, it's not the right size. So advanced set dimensions, units, eight by eight set. Give it a second to focus in and we're good. We're talking. Okay, right. I'm going to drop that and line that up just there. Okay, right. I'm really quickly, I'm going to have a smaller room, um, quite small, just here, two by two. And rather than right clicking this time, because it's quite easy to make it two by two, I'm just going to drag it down like that and like that and make that into the two by two. And I'm going to put this down there. That's going to be behind a secret door. And we'll come back to that in a bit. Okay, right. Uh, I don't want to make a how to build your own dungeon right now. So now what I need to do is decide, decide what style of dungeon tile walls I'm going to use. I like these ones. I think these ones are pretty good. So the black is an outer area. So this is a three by three. So it's already the right size. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it just there. Now I did the floor first because there is a slight overhang here and things get put the, the in the order you put them down is the order that they're placed, kind of like uh, the old Microsoft things. So if we were to right click on this and go to advanced, um, sorry, not advanced, go to um, to front and put that, you see how that's now above there? We don't want that. So if that does happen, click on that to back and that has gone there. And you can see the shading that is put in there. Again, these are really, really good for free tiles. Really, really good. I mean, they're really good for paid tiles. Like I said, I, um, I subscribed. I think he's completely worth it. Okay, now I'm looking for a an inner corner to go just here. So where is my T-junction or not? And we just slide through until I find the one I'm looking for. Uh, I know it's around here somewhere. I've seen this before. Uh, apparently it's not. And yeah, so I can't find the piece I'm looking for. I wonder if I took it out at some point for whatever reason. 
Oh, it's right there. It's like literally right in front of me and I'm, I'm just not seeing it. So this is a, a two by two. Now you see now we've got a slight issue. It's a two by two, but that's not, it's not full, is it? So, but when we knock that down to two by two, the one at the top there is what we're looking for. Just so I can pivot that around, pull that into place and drop it just there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to edit now from having done these first few to finished. I didn't really want to do that. I wanted all of these to be live and as they come. But the fact of the matter is it, it could take a little bit of time to, to finish this off. Um, and I don't think everybody wants to watch that. So I will jump back in a few minutes, though it will hopefully not be a few minutes for you. is find the open doors so the open walls as I call them so these are walls that don't have um, the the black around the outside these are for inside and I'm going to pull this across here and I'm going to put this just there I think where was I gonna put this I was gonna I know I was gonna put it somewhere okay I can't remember never mind get rid of that let's put a doorway in so that we've got something going on so that's a double door. I don't want. I want a single door. There we go. Um, that single door can go in. There. Ooh. Oh, hang on a minute. It's not the right size. What size should the single door be? If you can't see it, you can drag that out a little bit. The single door should be one by two. Okay. It's not, is it? It's going to be two by one. So we'll put that to the right size and stick that in there. And now our single door is in place. Okay, great. We've made our dungeon. Let's tidy it up a little bit. So again, this is housekeeping that is completely optional. So I'm just going to quickly count across how wide is this space? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Give me one more just to make sure I'm clear there. 16. Um, and down. I didn't count down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So a 15 by 15 area is good. Why am I bothering to do this? Because roll 20 is quite resource heavy. So I'm going to change that to 15 by 15. I'm also going to now change my background to black. I'm going to change my grid color to black, and I'm going to make it more opaque. So I can see it more. That's exactly what that is. Um, we've also now got fog of war, advanced fog of war, and dynamic lighting. We'll look at that later. So we've made it now. It's changed things. You can see that instantly just by changing that background, it looks a little better. Um, and if we just look across, now you can use the right click on the mouse to, to sort of zoom around. Here's our really basic dungeon. Um, it looks good. It looks presentable. It was quick, uh, 20 minutes or less it's taken us to do this. The one drawback to dungeon tiles over dungeon maps is you have to make them first. Imagine telling to your players, okay, guys, take 20 minutes. I'm just going to build a map. Yeah, it's going to slow things down. It's going to kill the mood. Or if they're eager because they've just found this boss that they're about to kill, yeah, so you can imagine. So you do have to um, pre-plan what it is that you're, um, you're going to end up fighting against. So the next thing that we're going to do, and we're going to do this in um, another episode, is we're going to look at dynamic lighting. I'll go over exactly what it is, exactly how it works, um, and then we're going to expand this dungeon so that it's less of a room and more of an actual dungeon. Um, and we're going to add dynamic lighting to it. 